It's time. From the Personal Liberty Digest studios located in our earthquake-proof bunker, take that, West Coast haters. I'm Ben Crystal, and this is the Great Eight for the week of August 27th. And President Obama has circumvented Congress and the courts to grant amnesty by fiat to many illegal aliens. Hmm, low poll numbers. Democrats established track record of electoral fraud. Now this, I wonder if... Ah, I'm sure it's just a coincidence. While appearing on Al Gore's little TV channel, I am the president of the internet, T-lister Janine Garofalo suggested that Republican presidential candidate Herman Cain was, quote, paid, unquote, to run. But Garofalo had to cut her remarks short so she could go collect a Lifetime Achievement Award from a group she admires. That was a cheat. What, what thread count is that? Race pimp Al Sharpton implied on the Democrat channel that if Rudy Giuliani was vice president, he might assassinate the president to get to the Oval Office. Al Gore reacted, oh, I cannot believe I didn't think of that. After running into the president during a round of golf on Martha's Vineyard, actor Morgan Freeman claimed, quote, if I could vote for him a thousand times, I would, unquote, prompting union thugs nationwide to say, what, what do you mean if you could vote for him? You not? Okay. New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg wants to cut down on traffic infractions and crime by installing a lot of cameras. Quote, I think we should have them on every corner, unquote. Oh, yeah. Check out the camera behind Beyonce's place. Check this out. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, no no crime here. We can probably go to the next ca camera there. Yeah, perfectly safe. Democrat Congresswoman Frederica Wilson of Florida named, quote, racism, unquote, as first among causes of unemployment. Wilson's comment came as a surprise to the millions of white people left jobless by Obama's economy, but they forgave her because she has an awesome hat. Here's to you, little lady. Yeehaw. Scary moments for millions as a rare earthquake rocked the East Coast. Although the epicenter was located near Washington, D.C., the highest level of government was unaffected because George Soros was in Brazil shopping for a new girlfriend. Hi, baby. I've got an early bird special and it's all yours. A homeless family was discovered living in a trash-filled car in a Florida Walmart parking lot last week. The car in question a 1987 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, or as the Democrat Party refers to it, a corporate jet. You know, if they cared about the environment at all, it would have been a high. <laughs> I'm serious, and you can tell because I'm talking with my eyes closed. And that's your great eight for the week, kiddies. For the Personal Liberty Digest, I'm Ben Crystal saying, Watashi no Terado Shinaide Kurisai. <laughs>